Good morning everyone. Welcome to European Town. We have today frame 4 and week 12. Yes, 12. So I park in here two type of threads and kind of prep myself. One of kind of like a light pink, one is a greenish, light minty color for the bushes for later if you have to. This one color is like those, you know, on the top of the houses, uh, those tree kind of like on a shadow. In the original design, this would be probably half stitches, but because we are stitching to Sunday, this is everything in full stitch. So we will continue. I stitch already today. Well, for me, it is Tuesday today. Just a minute, let me just wipe a little bit my glasses so I can wear glasses. Um, Tuesday today, for me, I kind of always end up stitching on Tuesday for Wednesday, only one day. And this morning I stitched the symbol that we started last week. So I just uh, finished that one. So it's kind of like I did my homework. That's good. And um, I uh, waited to... We had a visit visitors from Willow, puppy girl. So her parents knew show up. And so we have here playtime. All puppy were wild and playing and jumping, biting each other. So it was lots and lots of commotions and before they even left, uh, Poppy all of a sudden got so tired from all this play time and now they are sleeping. So I thought that's it because I was cleaning, reorganizing my room. But now when they sleep in, that's my peaceful time to actually stitch together with you a little bit before they wake up. Uh, because today I see a neighbor across the street, uh, the company show up to do their window and that's the same company that uh, we order our windows. So they were first, so I'm just thinking, okay, maybe I have a week or two before our window will show up since they are ready, so it's probably we are going to be next. So I'm trying to reorganize my room a little bit to, to get the stuff away from the windows a little bit to get kind of prep ready you know and the thing is the room downstairs that I have with all my crafty goodies it's more turned into the storage room than just a crafty room uh, I did not use for a whole summer that room and now kind of it's getting more hectic because if I have to move some stuff off the window, I have to move that stuff somewhere, you know, there's not much room I have in here. So that's where I'm gonna go and I think I'm gonna swap some uh, furniture with downstairs and upstairs. I'm gonna move some stuff around and uh, I have to move some boxes with cross stitch maybe. So I'm working, working hard in the midst of the caravan puppies. Then, you know, in a few hours, should start to do some dinner. Catherine probably will show up from school soon. She's going to play actually volleyball today, so. I might have a chance to stitch. So as you can see, my recording time is really cut off on me. But today is Tuesday and today is my video playing on my channel. It's the huge unboxing haul from VIP Cross Stitch. So I already spy a little bit on my comments and see your suggestion what should I review what kind of canvases next so thank you you're making my life easier that way 
Uh, so I'm kind of like I'm reading and I have a request. I put the stitch, cross stitch kit, oh, like to the other pile. So I see that some of you already pick, uh, wanted me to review uh, Dream, was it Dream? dream uh, what is it? The, the cottage, uh, the blue kind of colors. Dream cat? No, not dream catcher. What's that called? Oh, I forgot. Something dream. So I already put that on the side. Then somebody want me to do a bird nest because you want to stitch together with me. Yes. And you know what the good thing is? The bird nest actually in VIP cross that you can buy in three, three different Ada. I didn't even know this. I saw only uh, they have like you know 11 but they have a 14 so now we have a chances up there to get in three different um, count Ada so I think for even picky cross stitcher you can find your own count so it's a 14 16 and 11 save your money because the sale starts on 23rd so that's when I think I will review this canvas that requested by you and if you still have a time after you watch this video you can go to that big unboxing and pick which all so far I put two I know um, also I have an interest I see some of you the Mona Lisa so I'm kind of put that aside so like you know three four canvases maybe because it's going to be a comparison video so it will take a longer time but it's okay if I have to create longer video that that's good that's okay uh, well yeah that's what I wanted to give you update and I believe Fancel also will start sell on 23rd I think it is uh, what else I wanted to say? Yeah, I was stitching uh, a house, the oyster from Sunday. So I was stitching yesterday, kind of a little bit the day before yesterday in the evening. And then I did last night stitch a little bit. And I wanted to stitch, you know how I started already. I posted little... Uh, pick on Instagram that I'm trying to incorporate beads and then I decided maybe I should do beads on the, all the sunflowers as well behind a house not just all those little tiny flowers so I try and the kind of dark dark brown seed beads that I wanted to use they kind of too big for that count so I undid my stitches so I will think maybe just going to put some of the beads and some with the threads to make it a mix so it's fit better but uh, I don't think it's going to work like the whole flowers unless I have to go through my seed beads and check which one like the smallest size um, so it's fit uh, then I had a question where would I buy my seed beads uh, don't know at this point because I collected like over 20 years I collected seed beads you know a little bit there a little bit there some from China from Aliexpress some from Michael some from like liquidation stores so it's uh, didn't really shop particular and some kind of you know uh, BB Craft has lots of different um, beads but I think they charge a lot for the shipping I don't think the shipping is free no matter how much you buy in it so that kind of I did not uh, like it but uh, there's lots of good product up there uh, BB Craft what, what's the next one um, that I've reviewed beads on my channel yeah so I did some beads from those companies you have to check if you have a, a Michael's store you have to check when you have like a good sales 
maybe use some extra coupons plus you Americans ladies you have uh, this Joanne's store I think they also have a beads up there right Joanne's and what the other one was I've been at those stores once we went with Sherry at that time I think Catherine was a baby or maybe that was even Ivan oh that was a long time ago we went shopping up there um, I don't even remember I know someone went or Catherine or Ivan as a baby and that's it I never been anymore in those stores but I like I love the other store in the States a uh, very popular one the big one uh, what is it beside the Joanne's you know what I want to say <laughs> I just forgot the name because I remember being lots of good stuff up there but where to get you know to get like a good good quality beads you have to shop for the check beads but they're not like as super cheap because um, but that's a good quality beads so just google a check beads and it will give you distributor in your country because right now they don't have to wait like from Europe from Czech Republic you can uh, find a distributor in USA uh, probably even in Canada I think we have distributor of check beads that people work for the company and reselling I feel like something else I wanted to give you update but what is it I'm trying to think So this is GMC number, I think it's called a crew, like off, right? It's a 59 symbol on your palette. Almost kind of like a dirty lavender or something. Like color looks too grayish. Oh, here is what I want to give you more update. Uh, I ask you also in which one video? Is that maybe in the same video with the VIP cross stitch or other video that I ask you to comment if you wish me to review some certain product? And one of you, my lovely friends, asked me to review pillowcase cross stitch and tote bags so I did order yes I did is is like for myself I would not order because I had feeling <laughs> that I'm not going to like it but you want to review so I better order and review because for me that would be for free as a company review right so if you don't like it you're not going to waste your money but um certain design could be all right when you have a big like lots of details design don't order those in nine count you're not gonna have a good picture it's going to be very very pixelated so i would suggest to stay away from that yeah and then i was watching the other day some of my friend review design beautiful beautiful designs and 
she says she really really like it everything amazing and I disagree <laughs> I did not want it to make a comment because I didn't know if the person would be upset or not from my honest opinion but I would definitely debunk debunk <laughs> one of these designs so maybe I will order just to show you not to order I don't know sometimes when I see him unboxing of other people I kind of look to see what they think about it and if they say everything is super awesome and everything is so good and I see there is not that that's bother me you know that's bother me because I don't know if that person is playing for the company or really think it's good because I don't think that way <laughs> So yeah, I might will have to order those designs and tell you what I'm thinking about it because I, I wasn't agree with the review. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, but if I don't like, I cannot say that it's awesome. I am excited though about, I did order 14 count European town <laughs> am I crazy okay I want to do comparison video and plus I wish I have this canvas in 14 count but in that particular time when I started it was only in 11 I even asked company if they could bring a 14 and at that point they did not have anywhere so I thought okay that this is it I'm going to start in 11 count and now they have a 14 oh my god and you know what if I would stitch a 14 count again and you know what I'm so crazy I could even stitch another one canvas like this in a smaller count but I would probably do like original design call with the background and like a road I believe it's all in half stitches so I would follow original design because I even have the design in my cross stitch saga with the half stitches and other stitches I would stitch again in a heartbeat seriously it would be so much faster because that would be like a half stitches a lot so I don't know I want to see if this 14 count exactly same one as this 11 one or maybe in 14 we do have a half stitch I don't know so I did order to review and the one that I order is going to be from Fancel. I think from Fancel. And by the way, I'm waiting big package from Fancel because they keep asking me to do there's a whole bunch of new product. Um new product and some older product. I don't know, they just uh, ask me to review some stuff. So I pick and at this point I don't even know in how many packages this will be show up. I think maybe even five. So when it's going to be here I don't know. But uh, look out. I know many many of you love fan cell because they have good prices on it. Much cheaper from other some of the stores some of the stores that I review previously and I still kind of time from time review them uh, but the price is higher and I ask uh, stores if they can talk to the owner to lower price in certain stores and they reject it uh, they say um, because I said it's exactly the same prices and if I uh, look it could be much more expensive in your store that same product cheaper than the other ones but I guess uh, that's not the person who I contact through the email they have to go through the corporate right from the big bosses because 
it's them who control prices so I just highly recommend you to shop around if I review you just have to look if you like the price or maybe same product better in different store you just make your own decision okay wow we already stitching in 20 minutes the time fly by so fast I can't believe it's already Wednesday it's going to begin you know, feels like I just recorded video for last Wednesday. Oh, a puppy dreaming. Can you hear a squeaky noises? Uh, yeah, so I can't believe it's already Wednesday again for you. I love Wednesdays because I have my favorite show that it's going on, Survivor. Finally, again, I love this show and I'm watching every year. I wish would be I would be younger. I would probably apply for that show. Oh my God, I'm so addicted to the show. So every Wednesday, that's what I'm watching. This uh, thread already getting very short. I don't know if it's going to be enough to finish this peak of the tree. Let me just go a half stitches first up and keep down in case I have enough to finish a little bit more. I cannot wait to wash this canvas and see all this ink going away. I started literally did few stitches before I have to leave this morning to the bank a cat to do a backstitch. Oh my god that cat has so much backstitch. I'm going to be stuck for, for a while. And I was planning to do backstitch by myself while I was stitching something else. But then I read lovely comment that somebody wanted me to stitch backstitch together because for them it's kind of like a practice. Because they don't do backstitch too often or maybe that was like a first time and they wanted to together. So I guess what? I guess we are going to stitch that cat one more time together by creating some little bit of the backstitch. I just uh, trying to start to see which way I will go first. So on a cat I started by on his the pumpkin necklace. It's like a pumpkin face, Halloween scary face. So that's where I started and I just have to leave. Maybe tonight we'll start a little bit. Feels like I don't have enough time. I want to do so much. I brought in here to the living room also the Magic Dose Mushrooms and AB Diamonds from Kudios. You've been so lovely. All of you this oh how long I was stitching without oh yo 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 I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hope you wasn't watching. I went the peak without being on camera, okay? Forgive me. Okay, now we're going to stop already. I'm sorry. I didn't know we already off the focus. Not the focus, but that tree was a little bit longer and I didn't check my camera. So, at that point, you're not supposed to even watch me. You're supposed to just listen and cross stitch. So we're moving on to the next symbol that I already pre-threaded my thread and I, you know what, I forgot to move my canvas a little bit lower. Okay, hold on. We are moving together with camera because I need to get my canvas off the table. Okay, so my table finished somewhere in here. Alright, just like that. I'm going to leave you a little bit further away because we're like edging here and my tripod one leg stain over this. So we're going to suffer this little bit in here. 
Let's see if I can tighten canvas a little bit. Okay. All right. So where were we? I already forgot what I was talking about. Because I got so bubbly and chit chatty that I forgot to even look on the camera if I'm still in point of view. And you probably on the other side up there keep swearing like, come on, Natalia, look up. What are you doing? I love this color. It's such a pretty, like a minty color, light, light, minty color. Lovely. So I will try my best to make sure to the end of this week I can finish these symbols. This green symbol, it's only here on the top of these trees. It's not much at all. Um, yeah, just the tips of the tree and this, this is like the biggest patch right now where we're stitching. So I can definitely finish this uh, quickly, even like tonight or today, while my video will be loaded. But the symbol that we stitched with you in the beginning of the video, those ones I have tons because all that like between houses and everything. So I have a lot of that symbol. Will I finish till next Wednesday? I don't know. Because, you know, I still have to do something for a Sunday. Give you a hint. Right now we are in Tuesday. And I did not start that video yet for the Sunday. But at the same time, like I am stitching. You know, I was stitching. So it's going to be like a whole bunch of progress, I guess, on many canvases. Maybe next Sunday. Here's what I'm thinking. Because I was stitching a little bit of more of the, the oyster, I will stitch, uh, or maybe we will stitch back stitch because you want it. So maybe that's what I will create a little bit of the back stitch and stitch on something else more of the regular stitching. Because we have only a little bit left before winter season and we need to switch our canvases and choose something else because I have so many of them right we can keep switching every season something different <laughs> I think this way um, let me know if you think that would be kind of like proper thing to do so I have for sure like two cross stitch for the winter in my webs um, and then I think that's the only I have for the winter two winter design and maybe what else I will pick is that oh this clamp keep Okay, I have to undo clamp on my right side because I keep catching it. Oh, just a minute, my friends. Keep catching my thread when I swing my arms to the right. Okay, it's going to be like a f oh, free hand in this side. Just a minute, just a minute. Okay, okay, let's talk. Yes. Oh, one puppy wake up. My little baby wake up and peeking through the box. So maybe it's gonna wake up everybody. Um, what I was saying. Aha, uh -huh, so two whips that I have for sure. And then one whip that I started long time ago and that was one of the seasons that I've reviewed for you slowly one by one again from the spring company of those beautiful four seasons and 
I did start it to winter, but for some reason I put back in a package and put in a box. Like, I did not plan to stage or that was like accidentally I put away because that was supposed to be like canvas number three in my whip. I don't know why I put away. That's questionable. So maybe I have to dig it out and kind of keep continue with that. But what I'm thinking, I will look all my designs that I have, the smallest one, well, not like the smallest one, the one that is kind of close to finish. And maybe I should put pressure on those designs so I can have more finishes to kind of really cut my whips. Oh, puppy, start to waking up. Mm. Okay, let's see if we can stitch a little bit more before it gets wild in here. Let me know. Because there's lots of designs that I did not stitch yet, but at the same time winter, or maybe winter go with all new that I did not stitch yet, because we started our, from springtime, right? I think our seasons we started to stitch from spring. Um, so maybe next spring we should do this and all the smaller one to finish more or for the winter time help me out here I would I'm thinking to cut project even more less number so I can finish more that would make it more sense right help me out what, what to do what to do Well, at the same time, I would love to, as usually I do, I'm kind of like a starting on some designs. Because every season we start new designs, so I want to pick something, a little design that we can have one at least finish. If I cannot finish anything from my whips, I will pick something tiny winter design. Maybe another winter or like a Christmas uh, bunny or rabbit the rabbit from spring brand that I did for Halloween one I, I love that so maybe I will do that I don't know because it's kind of fall time is finishing so quickly and more and more I start to think about winter so the reason why I want to have a less canvas is because when I pick lots I notice that I ditched diamond paintings and I want to finish some diamond paintings as well so I will make a little bit more reasonable so I don't just stitch 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 because lots of you like only diamond painting so it's kind of mean when I don't do any diamond painting lately we are going to do very quickly maybe even okay let me pick in my calendar what do I have for this week I don't have too much I think um, oh okay I have one video here for Friday it's the another pack of fan cells cross stitches that we did the big big unboxing puppy start to make a noises hey 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 stop but I don't have nothing for Thursday so maybe on Thursday we will start this brand new... <gasps> Somebody naughty! Okay, how about we stop now <laughs> and I show you puppies a little bit, okay? I'm sorry. On Thursday we will start brand new AB diamond painting to test it out. Square diamonds from Kudils. Search. Why are you complaining? You are not... Are you Sarge? Let me pick your necklace. Yes, you are. Why are you complaining? Well, hello. Because most of you are still sleeping and they're gonna wake up everybody. They're gonna wake up everybody. Are you trying to climb? Yes, you did. You already climbed overboard. Yes. Hi. Why don't you sleep? You want me to cuddle you? Yes. This one climb so I open this puppy bed and he just flipped in here yes that's why I can't leave them alone because if they fall on the floor it's gonna be hard hi sweetheart why 
are you crying? Why are you crying, my cutie? Look how much fun. Oh my god, I love those faces. They get so much hugs and kisses. And everybody's still sleeping yet, but one of them wake up and gonna be wake up everybody. Wow, hello. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. No, 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 no. He's trying. To, oh my god, is he's gonna climb over? <laughs> oh, let me give him kisses. Oh, big yum. Okay, happy stitching, everybody. Say, say hello. Say hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Somebody chew on your ear. Oh my god, you're dirty. We have to wash it. <laughs> Somebody chew on you. Yes, they were wild playing before nap. Okay. Daisy, you want to visit your kids? Okay, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. I love you. Oh, you love it too. Well, we have some friends. No, don't bark. Don't bark. Don't bark. Oh, he's, he's really trying to... Oh my God, he is going to climb over. All right, my friends. Happy stitching. I have to take care of this baby. So I need to give him lots of hugs. So they don't cry. The other ones. The other one still wants to sleep. Yes. No, no, no crying. No crying. Okay, I will pick you up. Okay, bye everybody. Say bye. I just want to show you my Christmas cactus and two it's two in here and four blooms it's so beautiful whole bunch of flowers still going to open up my experimental hydrangea you know how much I love hydrangea so they do have a root so it looks like it's growing but this is just so so pretty I love it